Hello everyone. Welcome to today's read aloud session from Tulu. Hope you're all doing very well and enjoying your stay at home. So today's book is called Mai and her friends and it's written by Durga Bai. This story is about a lady and her cow who gets lost one day in the forest on a rainy day and how all her friends in the form of animals and fireflies and other people come together in helping her find this cow and she is immensely grateful for that so let's see how the story goes here mai and her friends on the bank of river godavari lived an old woman everyone called her mai That's Mai there. She shared a hut with a family of a cow and its calf. Every day Konda the cow, that's Konda the cow and the calf here, would go out grazing and come home in the evening to feed her hungry calf. One day the sky grew dark as a fierce storm approached. Karak dhoom roared the thunder and lightning. Soon it began to pour. Poor Konda lost her way. She wandered all alone and slipped and fell into a ditch filled with muddy water. That's Konda there. Back home, Mai and the calf grew very worried. The little calf was starving. "Ma! Ma!" she cried. and looked at mai with her large teary eyes after waiting a while Ma- mai decided to go out in search of her lost cow but it was dark and it was pouring how would she find her way in this weather suddenly lati the long bamboo stick said that's lati mai take me with you i'll support you mai gave lati a grateful smile Tying the calf to one hand and holding Lati in the other, Mai set out in search of Konda. Mai was drenched; her clothes clung to her, and the calf began to cry because she missed her mother. Jugnu, the firefly, that's Jugnu, saw them and realized they were in trouble. He quickly flew to the other fireflies. Something must be the matter. Let's find out, he said. They gathered around Mai in a big circle of life. Light. What is the matter, Mai? They asked. What do I tell you, my children? My Konda is lost in the forest. Mai replied. Jugnu said, "Don't you worry, Mai. We will give you light, and together we will find your Konda." So now she has the Lati, her calf, and the fireflies. all helping her find her little conda the fire flies flew ahead and lit up the way soon one firefly spotted conda and called out here she is come quickly they rushed and saw that poor conda had twisted her ankle as they couldn't rescue her from the ditch by themselves the fire flies begged all the other animals to help Together they pulled Konda out of the ditch. Konda limped home with her calf, Mai, and all the fireflies and animals. My dear children, I could never have brought back my Konda without your help. I would like to invite all of you home next Sunday, Mai said gratefully. Mai spent the whole week collecting nectar for the fireflies and milk, butter, nuts and berries for everyone else. On Sunday, Mai prepared a big feast for all the animals who had helped her. And the twinkling winkling fireflies were thrilled to light up the feast. The end. such a heartwarming story right about how when 
people come together to help each other, there's nothing we cannot achieve. The illustrations particularly, if you notice, is a form of art. It's called Gond art. That's that. So there, it, the, the, the painting is done so neatly that it feels like there are needles. it's done by needles and thread. I would urge you to go on to YouTube and maybe look out some ways of doing this and try a hand at it with your kids. Would be interesting to try it and maybe fun. On that note, thank you very much for joining me here today and we'll see you again tomorrow with another story. Thank you and bye-bye.